Hello everyone, how are you doing? Uh, back out um, on the permission where I found that sword hanging up today. Uh, that was up the hill, up there somewhere. Today I'm down the hill uh, next to the road down by the village. So, let's see what's here, I guess. Um, I've got a bit of new gear today, so I'm filming on that. Uh, so, hopefully, that'll be maybe a better quality picture, and I think it's got better stability, so that'll be pretty good. Maybe I'll do 4K one day. It's got that abilities, but we'll, we'll see when we get there. I don't know if I need it at the minute. But anyway, yeah, I'll crack on and uh, hopefully we'll find something good. See you when I get something. So, here we go. There's the first signal. Looks like a little musket shot. A little pistol ball, maybe. Can I focus? There we go. Yeah, a little one. Well, that's a great start, isn't it? It wasn't too deep, so um, that's, that's a good sign that um, stuff hasn't sunk. So, yeah, I'll carry on. That's a really good start. Always like finding these. Next target's here, next to this little worm. Uh, right next to the musket ball, so I think we've got a little buckle. A little D buckle. Not terribly old, I don't think. Yeah. Nice little horse, little little horse buckle. Excellent. It wasn't very deep, this was, I thought this was going to be a pool tab because it was right on the surface. Yeah, we got something here. It was a really low signal, so I thought it would be a bit of foil, but... It looks like a coin. No idea what it is. Well, I think it's a token of some sort. Get a bit closer. I think it's a little dog. A little dog uh, collar. Uh, yeah, that's what that is. I won't clean it and show you guys, just in case it's got like a phone number on, but... It looks quite old. Anyway, awesome. We've got our first coin here. Rolled out. I think that's going to be George the Stick, sixth. Nineteen forty-eight. There you go. Look, let's pop him out. Ooh, nice little imprint. It's got a weird uh, patina on it there, isn't it? It's like half and half. That'd be really nice if it hasn't got that little bend in it. It's been hit by something. First coin of the day. Yeah, really weird patina in there. Excellent. Hopefully there's some silver. Another little pistol shot. Uh, I kind of got a feeling this will be a recurring thing. Little one that I thought it was a little seed when I first saw it. Saw it. Uh, I think I've just had a little toy trailer. Some little little persons lost their toy. I always seem to find toys. What's that say? Oh, it says trailer. There you go. Yeah, cool. Maybe there'll be something else here. I think I've just got a little digger bucket. I'll go with my trailer. Maybe I'll build a whole uh, toy by the end of the day. Just add a bit of a spoon here. I think it's pizza, I'm not too sure. Uh, pretty flat now. <laughs> don't know where the handle is, but I don't know why there's so many spoons in fields. I'm assuming people had picnics and it was uh, little teaspoons, but who knows? Never find forks, to be honest. Always the spoons. Weird. Um, I think that's a coin, but it looks like it's terribly diseased or something. See the, see that like turquoisey green, crusty colour. Oh. Well, that's terrible. Oh, I don't even think I'm going to 
be able to clean that. It's super lightweight. Uh, I'll let you know if it's anything, but meh. Nasty. So I've just got something here. Uh, I think I know what it is from the shape of that. Uh, obviously it's a handle. Is it focusing? Yeah. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that's from a chafing dish. But I'm not sure. It doesn't look old enough, but... Hmm. Maybe it's just off a piece of furniture. Not too sure. I think it is a chafing dish handle, you know, like one each side of a big serving dish sort of thing. Hmm. That's got to be the smallest bullet I've ever found. I thought it's going to be a 2 2, but it's uh, a little bit bigger, I think, than older. I don't know, it's a really weird shape. Hmm. Oh, there's another blooming spoon. It looks like I've sliced the end off. Yeah, like a pewter spoon or something. Oh, they're having a, like, a feast out here or something. A garden party or something like that. Pretty crazy. Oh well. Right, it looks like we got another coin here. It looks like a Georgian one though. A little bit older. It was a really high signal. Let's see what it is. Yeah, I'd say that was George III. I think that's him there. Give him a good old rubbing because he's a bit crusty. Yeah, there he is. That'll be like 1806 sort of era. Let me give him a quick rub. Hold on. Oh, there he is, look. He looks all right, actually. I think after a bit of a clean, he'll come up really nicely. There's Britannia. Yeah, that's quite nice. Big penny. Um, a while back I was telling telling you guys about the uh, diagonal striations on the on the edge. This one's got it quite clearly there, you can see it. Uh, he made his coins with like quite a high ridge around so the uh, the details won't wear off so usually these come up with uh, not much wear on them which is quite good. So yeah, happy with that. Big old chunky thing. Excellent. Ah, that's another piece of spoon. How ridiculous. What are they doing here? Oh, I thought I was onto something good then. It's a cat's eye. Off the road. Uh, just really highly reflective, so car headlights can see the middle. Middle of the road. Ah, I think if you collect enough of these, you can make something out of them, I suppose. Put them on your driveway or something. <laughs> Just seen a little coin here. Let's get it out. Oh, I dropped it. Ah, oh, looks like a Mickey, I reckon. Well, I thought I was filming just now, but I must have uh, stopped. So here it is. Uh, so Vicky, Vicky Penny, uh, 1875. It's quite quite a nice condition one, to be honest. A really nice patina. I think I caught it a little bit there on the edge, but. Other than that, that's really nice. Yeah, not too worn. It's great. I think we might have a little spill here. That's where the penny was just from. Got a good signal here, so I'll just get that out. See what it is. Yep, yeah, we've got another coin here. Just here. Whoop. Another little Vicky. Nice condition one as well. Oh, that's a bit smooth on this side. 1866. Ah, it's still really nice though. I love it when they have a really nice patina like that. Yeah, cool. Maybe there'll be a few more. I'll have a little, little look around here. Uh, looks like another coin just here. Let's take a look. Uh, 
looking like an Edward. So focused. Yeah, Edward Halfpenny, there we go. Oh, that side's a bit crusty. Yeah, I don't know if I get a date off that. That side's all right. Excellent. I've just spotted something uh, a bit different down my hole. This thing. What is that? That's like a little teapot. Handle's broken. weird isn't it? Uh, I guess it's uh, from a little tea set maybe. Not sure. Never found one before so I don't know. Very unusual. Don't think I'll find the lid. Is it a watering can? Ah, I think it's a teapot. You don't get watering cans like that do you? No. Ah. That's an odd one. More spoon. Just so you're, you know, these aren't found near each other. These are all really far apart, so they can't be the same, same ones. But that, yeah, that's a pewter one. I uh, don't think it's decorated. So weird. You get, you get fields like that. I had one that was filled with light bulbs. This one's full of spoons. <laughs> uh, I got something here. I think it's like a key or something. Not too sure. Is that, is that like a tuna can? Sardine can? Key? I don't know. Don't know. It's, don't know. Clock, clock winder, maybe? Not too sure on that. Anyone got any ideas? I think it's a key of some kind. having a little bit of a break. This little field down the bottom is where I've been doing mainly. I've got all this hill as well but I haven't really found too much up here yet. Uh, just sort of concentrating on that bit because it was uh, uh, down by the road but got all this all along here and stuff so it's quite nice up here. Yeah I'll carry on in a minute. A few hours of sunlight still. Check it out we've got a little thimble. I don't think it's silver, it might be an aluminium one. Oh, I don't know, it might be. Oh, I'm going to have to test that when I get back, but... Uh, I don't think it is silver. Oh, I don't know. Looks a bit dull, doesn't it? But... Oh, no idea with that. Could be a silver thimble. It might, might just be an aluminium one. Can't see any hole marks. Maybe they'll be on the inside. Oh well, that's something anyway. We can carry on for a bit more. Uh, just about to scoop out another shovel full and it wasn't necessary. It's right here. Ah, George V. Ah, I've got uh, almost all the monarchs from the last century, I think. Yeah, he's a bit, he's a bit crusty in the middle there. This side's a bit better, but yeah, it's weird how, um, especially on the, and on other permissions as well, they're like really nice condition, apart from like a bit of rot right in the middle. But uh, yeah, another one for the count. Excellent. And there we go. I think that completes the 20th century monarchs. Apart from Edward VIII, but I don't think I'll find one of him. There's a little Lizzie. <laughs> oh. oh well. Well, that's your lot. Uh, it's hard going today, actually. Found a few coins. Nothing too old though. It's quite surprising. Maybe someone's been here before, but I've dug a lot of trash, so probably not. Uh, oldest thing is probably that George III penny. That was pretty good. 
I think that'll come out quite nicely, so really happy with that. I know people complain about them, because they're quite common, but I really like finding them, George III. Um, but yeah, I um, don't know if I'll come back here, but there's a few other fields. Um, but, you know, at the minute I'm just sort of going around quite a lot of other places, so I've got plenty of different places to look at, so I'll, maybe I'll go somewhere else, but we'll see, <laughs> see how it goes. Um, I will uh, catch you guys next time. Cheers.